Hello everyone, welcome to this video. You are watching something casual, something fun, something girly, chit chatty. I hope you're in that type of mood because I sure am. And I thought today I ought to sit down and talk to you about what is in my handbag or my purse or whatever that you happen to be carrying. And uh, this is a tag or a video idea I've been thinking about for a long time, but I've always put off doing it just because I don't carry a specific purse or pan bag for the entire season. What I carry really depends on where I'm going, um, how much stuff I need to bring with me, and uh, of course what outfit I'm wearing. But recently I've been finding myself carrying one bag in particular um, for the majority of my outings. And uh, it's that perfect in-between size, I can throw enough things into there without um, feeling like it's a lot of things but it still holds enough and I'm a girl that has a lot of baggage like I need to carry a lot of stuff and um, an itty bitty little satchel really doesn't cut it for me but I've been using one in particular a lot so I thought we would share that today and uh, do a little chit chat about what is in my handbag and currently and for the past while I've been using this one which is my Salvatore Ferragamo uh, crossbody, I think that's what it's called. I have tried so hard to look up this exact bag and I don't think it exists anymore. I actually inherited this from my aunt. Um, inherit is the kind word. The other uh, way to talk about it is that she wasn't using it and I just took it semi-permanently from her closet. But um, you know, it's one of the only reasons that I'm able to um, have something like this. It's so nice in my collection, but I love it and it's that perfect size. It's just wide enough to put a good amount of things in here. I can put my camera in here if I wanted to, but um, I don't on a daily basis. And it has a flap with a little um, button on the bottom, a little snap. And it's secure enough because it closes, um, slides through the little emblem thing here and um, it opens wide enough. I can carry a good amount of stuff in here without feeling like the size of the bag is too big. Now I have a feeling that she probably bought this a very long time ago and um, perhaps they may even have been an Asia exclusive, I'm not sure. What I will try to do is find something of a similar style and size and leave it down in the information bar in case you guys want something similar to this. Um, one of the reasons I like carrying this, other than the fact that it's a tan color and that goes with everything, whether you're doing something playful or more sophisticated, I can wear this on many different occasions but also because the size I'm a very small person and this bag doesn't overwhelm me but I can still carry a good amount of um, items in here so this is something that I would take out if I am going out on a casual date, meeting girlfriends, if I'm going shopping, um, if I don't need to bring any sort of documents or you know big items, um, everything I need fits right into here. So this is more of my casual day-to-day -day bag shall we say. So let's talk. What is inside? There aren't any fancy compartments, it's just one big hole and everything goes inside. There's a small zipper for all your finer stuff like um, your keys and whatnot, but let's go through the big compartment first. If I'm going out for something serious, um, I definitely need my glasses. I am actually a little bit nearsighted, not terribly so, but um, if I am standing in line at Timmy's, I can't really read the backboard. So I need my glasses, which aren't very fancy actually. They're purple, they have a bit of a decent rim. These are the Lucky Brand glasses from Clearly Contacts, nice and cheap. I don't have heavy prescriptions, so sometimes I would carry this, sometimes I wouldn't depend on where I'm going. If I'm heading out um, to an event or something, I definitely need my glasses for precautionary purposes. So that's in here, of course. Then I have my beloved Samsung S3. I showed you guys in the video previously. I'm now pretty adapted to this phone now and I love it so, so much. So glad I picked this one over the iPhone 5. I know the iPhone 5 had a lot going for it, but um, at the time I got it with all the transition of the new um, systems and they're upgrading a whole bunch of stuff from the different carriers. It was a mess and I ended up with the Samsung S3 at a very good price and I'm very thrilled with it. I love the camera on it. Oh, I got a new case. This is the case I decided on after asking you guys for suggestions. It was really hard to find a nice case for the Samsung S3. There are a lot of standard ones but there weren't very many that suit my personality and my style and um, I, I don't want just any old random case if you know what I mean. So I'm pretty happy with this design and uh, I might end up with a few more just to switch on and off but 
thus far love this my s3 i use it for a lot of things of course you need your entertainment gear which in case uh, in this case is actually my sony headphones super cheap if you buy them from the seattle premium outlets at the sony store there they usually go on sale i think i got these for three bucks usd i bought like three pairs of them although two of them are now lost somewhere in my closet um the sony ones really hold up and i like them a lot so i carry that with me of course and then my wallet this is a bit embarrassing but oh wells uh this is a wallet from ardeen's and i bought it for probably three four bucks and i bought it because it was the right size and the color is okay i don't hate it but i don't love it either but the size is good it was very inexpensive one of the things i feel so awkward spending money on is uh, wallets it's like i'm spending money to buy something that's going to hold my money you know what i mean like it, it contradicts itself in my brain um eventually of course i'm going to invest in a nice looking wallet but for now will this will suffice and i do like it because it has all the right compartments it has you know the little flap for your id it has um the place for all your cars i have here my sephora beauty insider of course uh library cards i have some business cards for my blog um, all kinds of shenanigans in here and what I really like about this style of wallet is that it comes with a little zipper for your coins. A lot of wallets which are nice and compact don't come with the zipper pouch for your change and that's totally not functional because I don't want to carry an extra coin purse but at the same time those that do have the coin section are humongous they're really really big so I don't know I need a nice in-between so what I usually keep in here are of course my cards credit cards bank cards Safeway card of course um, library cards whatnot driver's license and a whole bunch of coupons receipts I'm very much of a person that needs to feel organized or make it seem like my my stuff is really organized and i spend a lot of time organizing and reorganizing my things so my wallet needs to be absolutely functional and thus far this works it's not the best looking wallet nor is it the best quality but for now it suffices um also what's in here if i am going out for a full day and i'm totally dressed up and whatnot of course i need to carry my makeup bag and you'd be surprised how much um this little ferragamo crossbody can carry so this fits in there along with everything else I just showed you and this is a cute little makeup pouch from I think it was a kind of a gift with magazine purchase from a Japanese magazine I bought a long time ago I'm not even sure what brand this is from but I liked it because it opens very very wide and it's very easy to access all the items you have in here so if I'm going out for the day I'm usually pretty dressed up I have my false lashes my brows my base everything done up so I carry a few essentials for touch-ups um, number one your compact powder for me currently is the holica holica luminous silk in here a nice day-to-day -day powder then usually I'm wearing false lashes so my dolly wink eyelash glue comes with me as well just because it has the brush applicator, it's very easy to use. I will almost always have my Dior Show Brow Styler, which is my brow pencil. Um, this stuff is just fantastic. I mean, I'm going to dread the day I run out of this, but I'm absolutely going to buy a new one straight away. Can't live without this, even though it is $30. Oh my goodness. But it's some really fancy stuff and I really like it. Um, next up, I have been carrying a blush with me recently and this kind of started with the Toronto trip and a little bit before Toronto. Um, I've been recently using the Bourjois Cream Blush. This is number one, a very natural kind of apricot shade. Very easy to wear. It's a cream to powder formulation. I won't talk about it further in a blog post, but I've been carrying this in my bag. It actually has a little mirror, which makes it very functional and it's not too large. So I can just slip it into my purse. When it comes to lip products, um, I think most of us carry way too many lip products than we actually need, but I think this is just because we like to have options, right? Maybe you change your mood and you don't want to wear this lip color anymore, so you need to have something else to choose. So I usually carry my lip pencil, which is the number seven lip pencil in nude, um, the Lisa Eldridge inspired or created color it's fabulous it's perfect i'm in love with it i will definitely buy more of these but the color pretty much is exactly what you see on the outside i use this very frequently i have my burst bees lip balm right here this is the pomegranate one 
doesn't have any color but it's light and nourishing easy to use and I usually have a choice of two lip products one would normally be a bright lip color which I won't use all over per se but I like to dab it on and um, have, have a little bit messy a little bit um, casual but still with a punch of color so currently it is the Kate Moss lipstick from Bremel in number 13 which looks like this nice and bright um, but again, I don't wear this like a perfect bright lip. I like to dab it onto my lips instead. Another option I like to carry is a lip gloss. And uh, this is a long wearing lip stain from L'Oreal, the Caress Shine Stains. I have the shade in 184, Rose On and On, which is a perfect shade to carry around because it is brighter than your natural lip color, but it's a little bit less than something like the Kate Moss, uh, the super bright um, hot rose sort of um, or hot pink slash rose color so one of each so I have options with me and then of course you gotta have band-aids I have that in here you gotta have a hair clip I have that as well um, so makeup bag wise it's pretty simple I don't take too many things with me but definitely eyelash glue compact powder some lip products and an eyebrow pencil are necessities for me now last things in here are um, some tissues, not very interesting here, and also of course my keys I need to have with me, and um, bus passes because it's Vancouver and transit is convenient, so I usually keep that in here. So that wraps up what is in my bag, and um, in case you're wondering again, this is the uh, Salvatore Ferragamo. Again, I'll try to look up something similar. I don't think they make this exact bag anymore, but I love this bag. I think I'm going to use it until it falls to bits and pieces, and it's really the perfect one to carry for my casual days and fits everything without looking like I'm holding a lot in here. So, hope you enjoyed this casual video. If you would like to see something similar like this in the future when I update my bag or whatnot, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you're feeling about these and I will talk to you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.